Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about contextual variables of for loop in Angular. So first I'll let you know what are the contextual variables. After that we will take examples for each of these contextual variable and the list of contextual variable is here which is count, dollar count, dollar index, dollar last, first, odd and even. So these are the six contextual variable which is present inside the for loop and we'll discuss them in detail with the example. After that we'll see how we can implement empty block with the for loop and if you are not aware like what is empty block with the for loop don't worry I'll let you know and I'll give you example also and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to the for loop contextual variable all right so first question what are the contextual variables so contextual variables are the default variable which is present inside the for loop and what they do they actually make your task easier for example if you want to get the total number of element which is present in the array then uh, dollar count will help with that if you want to show the uh, numbering with the uh, for loop then you can use uh, dollar index if you want to get the last element or you if you want to get the first element so you can use dollar last and dollar first if you want to do with the uh, uh, old results and or with the uh, even results then you can use dollar odd and dollar even uh, contextual variables all right so now let's take example for each of these and understand them uh, in detail so first i'm making one array and its array name is users and i'm adding some name there let's say anil then sam vinay and then Pascal and last one is let's say Praveen right so these are fair enough so now let's move to the template uh, file and they use at the rate so at the rate means this is directives that tell us like we are uh, using their for loop and then take uh, any variable name user and this variable name will belongs to this array then you can put their user of users after that we have to give a track there and track you can give any key if available inside the array otherwise you can give the element name so for now there is no key so we are using their uh, user and after that let's say i'm using h3 tag inside this and i'm mentioning uh, user and now you'll see that we have a list of all of these users that's fine so now maybe you want to show the numbering or indexing with the each of the element then how you can do that okay so for that simply uh, you can use dollar index like this right so okay so okay yeah there we have to use double curly braces not the single one and now you can see that numbering so let me just put a syntax there so this is user number this and name is like this so here you can see that this is user number zero but usually we don't start user number from the zero but indexing started with the zero so if you want then you can put there plus one now all right so that's fine after that maybe uh, the first one and last one you want to highlight with some different color then how you can do that so we learned that how we can use dollar index similarly here you can use dollar first and dollar last one right so for that what you can do uh, I will check there if dollar first right if this is a first result right then we can use if condition and with the if condition we also have to use there at the rate and there you can mention style color uh, let me add their background color green and here we go right so this is in the uh, green color and the rest of the users should be in the same color there is a no difference so here you can okay again uh, i have to use i have to use it at the rate yeah so they are without any color so last one also you want to highlight with the green color then you can use there with the or condition dollar last and there we go now the first one and last one are in the green color other are in the without any color okay perfect but uh, see uh, this plus one is actually uh, changing the indexing right so because by default this is zero this is one this is two and this is three so this one and this one by default are 
uh, odd number right and this is showing them even so i'll just removing this for now so that you can understand it better so this is zero uh, but where is user uh, but where is the index one yeah so this one right so now this is working fine the next thing is maybe uh, what do you want to do you want to highlight the odd number with a different color and even with a different color then how you can do that so for a moment i am just commenting this out code so i don't want to remove because i will push this code over the git so that you can use this code so there i will again use if dollar even if our row is even then i want to highlight it with the uh, maybe some gray color mm, triple d or something yeah uh, let me remove it properly yeah here you can see that right so the all even values like 0 2 3 are uh, with the highlighted with the background gray color right you can see that and you want to highlight the other uh, even values right so if dollar odd you want to highlight the odd values with some different color then you have to put there at the right also copy and paste this line and there you can put there maybe mm, what color you want to put there green let's say light green yellow right so here you can see that now you have the different color with the uh, with the old values and different color with the even value so you can use this one okay so now we saw that how we can use index uh, first last odd even count 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 is basically show you the now uh, you can see the total number of element right so you can use it with the some condition or wherever you want to use so here you can mention dollar count and you will find that this is you are getting nine with the each of the time so maybe you want to just uh, display only once but this is how you want to uh, you can use right you can use it with the conditions okay so there is a one more thing so every time you don't want to put that dollar even dollar or then there is a shortcut also right and what is the shortcut there you can create variables for them so let uh, you can say that let e for dollar even comma let uh, o for the dollar odd values right odd so now you don't need to put the dollar uh, completely even you can simply put there even and for odd you can put there o it will work completely fine until let me see what is the issue there mm. unknown parameter dollar event okay oh uh, this should be even only not event and now this is completely working fine so i hope you understand all of the contextual variable now let's talk about the empty block so let me give you one scenario so let's say you have the users array but there is no value then you will see find that there is nothing to display maybe user will think there is error so we should show there like there is no record there is no result there is no users we have to show something in that case you can check with the just after for loop empty and inside this maybe uh, h3 h4 whatever tag you want to use and mention there no records found or something here we go no record found and if there is uh, you have data inside this user array then this will not be visible all right so this is how you can use for loop with the contextual variables and uh, uh, empty block and and this is the angular 19 playlist and which is uh, latest playlist you can say that uh, for 2025 i just posted first video there so there are lots of other videos i will post them one by one or you can say that each video every day so you can watch this playlist link is given in the description box thank you so much guys and this is my paytm and gpay number for donation please like this video subscribe my channel comment your feedback in comment section thanks guys